In today's society, smartphones are taking over. 95% of people haven't had an actual conversation with no phones in sight in over eight years. I decided to take the initiative and invite my brother Lucas over and have a conversation with him with no smartphones allowed. Needless to say, I was scared shitless. I felt violated. But as I looked at myself in the mirror, I realized that maybe I'm stronger than I think, and maybe I can do this? We haven't ever talked without phones. This is it. I'm gonna change my life once and for all. Me and Lucas planned a location. I was forced to arrive, so I walked in. Then I found out that there was a piece of paper where we were supposed to put our phones. I put my phone down there because I knew it was for the greater good. Jacob's spot. So I guess I stand here? Do you just stand for a conversation or should I bend over a little bit? I walked into the room that the conversation expert set up and immediately I saw Jacob. He looked so awkward, which made me feel awkward. And then I saw a sheet where I was supposed to lay my phone. Oh, I'll get that after. Hey, I guess this is where I go. Hey. <laughs> standing there kind of just chilling. Like I felt comfortable. I think I have more confidence than Jacob is what it comes down to. There was a piece of paper on the ground that had a few tips. Talk about each other's day. How's your day been, Lucas? It's been good. Yeah, the day's been great. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. To the average person, this conversation might seem awkward at this point, but I was doing pretty good. I thought it would go a lot worse. Be confident. I picked up my conversation tip sheet and it told me to be confident, which was weird because I was like, oh, I already did that. I didn't realize I already would do that on my own. Your skin is shiny. Like in a good way. Crack a joke. Do you have a joke to tell me? I wanna hear it. Um, your mom is such a fat bitch that you wonder why she doesn't like you and you're so ugly. There was a few insults that were thrown in the air. It made me want to leave the conversation. I didn't like how Lucas was fully being a bully to me. It's just weird talking in real life because I'm used to like saying a lot of well, in real life I actually have to actually, like I have to laugh. And I feel like yeah. I forgot how to laugh. Most of the time when I'm texting, I'm just copy and pasting conversations from Google. Kind of feel like we've already talked about everything. I have a handshake that I launched. Sure. Want to try it? Okay, put that hand in this hand, and then this hand in that hand. And then switch it, and then switch it, and then kaboom. I had no idea what to talk about, so I remembered when I was in elementary school, me and my buddies used to have handshakes. So I thought I'd tell Lucas about a handshake that I learned. That hand and that hand, this hand and that hand, then kaboom. Ha <laughs> Kaboom. <laughs> kaboom. It's so funny because the, the only thing that makes it weird is that your hands are so sweaty. Like, they're just damp. And it feels like I'm, I feel like I just washed my hands and I didn't use a towel because they're just, they're so wet. You're just a sweaty person. You're sweaty, again. You're just always sweaty. He made me feel like a piece of shit. Yeah, I actually like going to coffee shops too. It just really is fun. It helps me think a lot and stuff. Yeah, it'd be hard to go to coffee shops being as ugly as you though. <laughs> just a butt ugly person. You're, you're funding me and you're mean. You don't even know how to talk to anyone. And I'm grabbing my phone because I'm over this. So I threw out one of my legendary jokes and Jacob got offended. He's such a bitch. Like, honestly, I didn't even say anything that mean. What the heck? Just come back in here. No, you took it too far. Oh. Don't say stuff like that. You know, it really hurts my feelings. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I just my sense of humor. I thought you knew you were ugly. Well, I did, but when other people mention it, 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 it's like you may know stuff about you, but when other people notice it, it funds you. Let's shake on it. He has sweating hands again. Okay, well, this was a good conversation, Lucas, and um, we should do it again with no phones. Bye! We should do it another time, like I said. Oh my gosh, that was intense. Right? See ya. So yeah, it ended up going pretty good. That being said, I don't plan on seeing Jacob again in person. I'm not seeing Jacob again in person. I don't think I'll ever talk to anyone in real life again without my phone. Honestly, this whole experiment was really dumb and I regret participating in it. Overall, the conversation went pretty good and I plan to do a few more actual conversations at least five times a year. I think it's good for my overall health.